Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and this time we're going to be looking at how to achieve a 100% yield bonus in the Farm Simulator 25, so as you can see on the bottom right, obviously we've got Farmland owned by and furloughs and all that. However, if I go to our other field over here, so if we go to the grass that hasn't been chopped up yet, you'll see when you're growing crops that you'll get a yield bonus that, so at the moment we're on 65% yield bonus, so... I think this field is going to be 100% if I put that other application of fertilizer on, so I'm just going to quickly show that off, and then I'm going to go through all the steps you need to know on how to achieve a 100% yield bonus. So, alright, we got a full tank here, and yeah, this field is just really... At the moment this field, I'm just doing a, some prep work for a, another video on that, so our test is going to be on that field over there. But yeah, I thought, you know, just quickly demonstrate, you know, of what you should see in that. So, in order to get 100% of your bonus, you'll need to mulch fields, then either plow if it's requiring plowing, and then also you need to put both applications off for those on. And as you can see, there is a weird bug at the moment, because I'm always getting 97%, so, even though know, I've mulched the field in that. But yeah, so I'm going to do this on this field over here, so... This field has just been harvested, and yeah, there is some, some flowering there, but not too fast on the numbers, because to be fair, I did look at the numbers and that, so when we harvest this using the special header, special sunflower header, it did go and mulch this field and that, so I'm ignoring some little, little patches here and there. What I'm going to do now is get this field fully prepped and that, so I see here we've got... 0% fertilizing, wheat are growing, so what I'm going to do first of all is put the fertilizer down, lime should be fine, because yeah, there's no lime that's required in that, so let's go and put some fertilizer down, and the good thing about doing it on a mulch field like this, you can see where you have been in that, so let me just get this done, so I'm going to spray this with fertilizer, lime, sorry, fertilizer, herbicides, and then do a second application of fertilizer that. So even before we start harvest, start planting or cultivating, we're going to be, be golden in terms with the yield bonus that. So but also what I'm going to do is do this in separate sections and that. So some parts of the field I will drill and that. Some parts of the field I will cultivate, and then some parts of the field I will plow. Because yeah, I want to see that because. More often than not, in my other testing of for other videos and that, I'd be getting, again, 9% of your bonus and that. But yeah, that field over there is for another video and that. So yeah, I'm just doing the full prep work and that. But usually you'll have this issue. It requires multiple harvests, so... By the time you've done your second harvest and that, you'll be fine in that, so... Yeah, let me just get this done, and I'll bring you folks back once we are done. Alright, it has been a while, it has been a couple of hours since we last seen each other, and in a way, broken. And I say broken because what I'm going to do is a couple of times where I was able to get a 100% yield bonus. However, for most of the time, I was getting like 5% yield bonus, and I figured out why that is. And that is the liming, so... In FS25, when it comes to your bonus, that's familiar with FS22, so mulching gives you a 2.5% yield bonus, plowing is 15%, farms is where stone collecting does nothing, the only really thing it is affects is your equipment wear. When it comes to rolling, that is 2.5%, so the mulching and rolling, yeah, that's same as FS22. And yeah, fertilizing is 22.5% for each stage. So if you're doing two stages, then I'll see that it's going to be 45%. And weeding is going to be a 20% bonus if you dealt with it. So when it comes to weeding, the best thing to do is do it straight after you're planting your crops into the ground. Otherwise, you're going to lose a 10% bonus. Because yeah, if you do them when there are small weeds and that, yeah, you're going to get a 10% yield drop in that. But yeah, so lime. Lime is, lime is 15% and farms I'm aware and to be honest I did have to reference another content creator about this is 
Farmer Cop, yeah, he's on the video on this like, literally yesterday, I didn't realise that, I didn't get a notification or anything. But yeah, so Lyman does seem to go down 5% after every harvest, so what I'm going to do is, see I've got this field here of spinach, and yeah, this will take me hours just to figure out everything, and yeah, because things don't add up to that, so in terms with the actual order and that, so Actually, you know what, I'm going to do my phone test here. Because, yeah, I'm just going to look at my notes. And when it comes to the optimal planting of how you should plant is mulch, lime, fertilizer, plow, drill, roll, fertilizer, and herbicides. But, yeah, obviously, you can just cultivate rather than plow. But, but yeah, so I'm going to redo that, redo my optimal test, and, yeah. See how this comes back after us. So I'll see you folks in a couple of months. So, right, and yeah, it all worked out well. So, a couple of tips now. This is going to be part of the whole results and conclusion. Now. So, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is put a screenshot up. So, basically, as we've gone over, in terms with your bonuses, yeah. So, in terms with lime, that's 15%. Fertilizing is 45%. Plowing is 15%. So is Lyme, that's 15%. Mulching and rolling, that is 5%. And then lastly, the spraying herbicide is 20%. But that will go down exponentially when you're not doing, when you're not spraying. I have to use the weeders and that. That will go down by, I think it's 5-10% at the time. Or sorry, 10% at the time, but yeah. The spray test for herbicide is going to be a separate video. Because, yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I planned, but yeah, it's all worked out, so... In terms of way to go about things, so... If you're direct drilling, direct drilling, do not mulch, because you don't need to. Because, yeah, when I direct... Sorry, when I mulched this, I couldn't direct drill, so I had to plow it, lime it, and then drill it. Also, when you're plowing, you lime, so yeah, you're losing 5% of lime every harvest. So, alright, after everything is all done, so in terms with the process, so with this corn here, I had to plow it because I mulched it. When you mulch a field, if you want to direct drill, you won't be able to direct drill, so if you're planning to direct drill a field, do not mulch. Do not mulch at all. But yeah, if you are using a normal drill like I did over here for the seeds and that, oh sorry, not for that, let's go over here. Yeah, for spinach, then, yeah, you're going to need to, obviously, mulch. Also, when I did this section over here, I did plow, plowed it, lined it and everything like that, so... That's where I'm getting the bonuses, so... After every harvest, you need to line, or otherwise you're going to lose 5% of your yield bonus. Obviously, the requirement for line is only at every free harvest. For your plowing, it's required after you're harvesting your root crops and that, so if you're doing things like sugar beet and all that. But yeah, regardless, after harvesting, you're going to need to do it, so... Yeah, I think overall, now, I think that's wrapped up everything that, so... This took a lot longer than planned, because, yeah, things didn't add up, numbers didn't add up. For example, if I go over here, so, this is where I plowed and limed. A little bit here where I didn't, I didn't plow or lime, I just cultivated. And that got me a 10% reduction, so yeah, it is a bit buggy at the moment, but I am doing the best I can to provide numbers, and I think Farmcop came to the same conclusion he did. Obviously, when the next major patch comes out in next week or two, then this will be doing a correction video. But yeah, so hopefully you know how to maximise your field, so TLDR is... Fertilize your fields and that both stages that will get you 40% bonus. When you're drilling your field, spray straight afterwards. Mulching and rolling is worth 5% in total. And you don't need to mulch when you're direct drilling. Soon collecting does nothing. And yeah, liming you'll lose 5% after every three harvests. So just a note on that. But anyways, so you found this helpful and affordable in some shape or form. If so, smash the button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you stay. But for now, it's be far from Evelyn Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.